Guys, I bet you have never seen something like this. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen. There are fifteen wheels on top of one wheel. And to make this product possible, we had to reinvent the wheel. Literally. This is called Blade. And we have fundamentally changing the lawnmower industry by introducing this smart, durable, and well-designed product. We have received a lot of questions from our users asking, what are some of the meaningful innovations that EcoFlow is putting into the Blade? So let's try to answer some of them. How does Blade plan the most efficient path for mowing? Why did you give Blade a mounted mower deck? Why are the wheels designed this way? Or what Blade made of? Can I use the Blade in rainy days? and many other questions. Let's find out the answers later in this video. There are a lot of so-called smart robotic mowers on the market right now, but there are a few flaws with them. First, robotic mowers require a boundary wire to be nailed or dug into the ground around the perimeter of your lawn. Second, the mower goes on a journey with a random route, occasionally bouncing off the boundary line which leads to an uneven cut. Some parts are going to have a lot of overrides, while others will remain uncut. Blade is an intelligent robot which can plan the most efficient path for mowing, bouncing in a zigzag trajectory to reduce missing or repeating cuts. With EcoFlow Blade, there is no need to set up a physical boundaries. Just use a mobile app as a remote control to define the boundaries once. You can think of it as a pre-programmed driving device with a high RTK positioning accuracy, which saves a lot of energy and time for you. Now, let's talk about the Blades 4 Blade. One of the best things about the Blades design is that it's more deck connected to a four bar linkage which makes it more convenient to adjust the height of the razor according to the needs of the owner or type of grass. EcoFlow also offers a 20 to 80 millimeters range of cut height and it can be adjusted effortlessly in the app. At the same time it ensures that the razor mount and the main machine can operate flexibly and almost independently at the z-axis without being affected by the terrain and ensures the flatness of the grass after mowing. You may wonder why Blade only has three blades. Well, that's because three is enough. It runs at a high speed of up to 3000 rpm and can mow up to 260 mm wide, which is an advantage over other robotic lawnmowers. Blade is equipped with seven different sensors namely IMU, lift sensor, rain sensor, LiDAR, visual sensor, geomagnetic sensor, and RTK. With their help, it can avoid obstacles intelligent. We chose TOF LiDAR sensor over ultrasound because ultrasound can detect low and pole-shaped obstacles. RTK stands for real-time kinematic, which is a technique used in a satellite navigation to enhance the accuracy of the position data. RTK is a type of global navigation satellite system that uses a base station to transmit the correction data to a rover, enabling it to determine its position with a high accuracy in real time. RTK is commonly used in surveying, mapping, construction, and precision agriculture applications, where high accuracy positioning is required. RTK systems can achieve a centimeter level of accuracy in real time, making them especially useful for your backyard mall. Let me tell you about the lift sensors. This one is interesting. Basically, both of the front wheels have a decentered axle that needs some pressure to be centered. So when the blade is sitting on a surface and pressure is applied, the axle is centered and aligned with the magnetic sensor. The robot understands that everything is fine and keeps working. But if you lift blade, it will sense that there is no pressure applied and it's off the ground, so it will stop working just for your safety. The wheels on the blade are very eye-catching and the radius of the rear wheel is relatively large mainly to ensure its ability to climb the obstacles. The thread on a wheel can increase the friction, especially on the grass terrain. By the way, if you're interested, Blade is a rear-wheel drive robot. And unlike many others, it doesn't use a step gearbox to apply that high torque to the wheels. In Blade's case, both rear wheels are high torque brushless motors that output 10 Nm of torque each. Quite impressive for such a compact machine. Also, a movable rotating shaft is added 
at the junction of the frame and rail axis with a maximum inclination angle of 27 degrees to ensure that four wheels can touch the ground at the same time, so the blade can move smoothly over all types of uneven surfaces. In addition, the front wheels are 200 mm diameter omnidirectional wheels composed of multiple smaller rollers that can rotate freely. The design of toe-in omnidirectional wheels reduces the frictions and resistance when turning, and it pretty much acts like a zero-turn motor. So why wouldn't we make a similar steering design as an automobile, for example? There are two reasons for that. One, it wouldn't be able to realize its zero turn and would leave uncut stripes off the grass in between the rows. Two, the suspension and the steering of the cars are rather complex with a lot of moving mechanical parts that need to be maintained and have a higher chance of failure. We chose a more reliable and simplistic approach. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, all we had to do is reinvent the wheel. Blade's frame and chassis are made of aviation aluminum alloy, and it's very, very different from everything we've seen on the market so far. Robotic movers are usually made of plastic and simple steel frame, but Blade is not your average robot. The frame and body undergo two-step manufacturing, casting the alloy with the basic mold and sanding it for CNC precision carving. Only in this way is it possible to achieve a lightweight, sharp and accurate shapes for every single detail. There are so many details that go into how this manufactured and assembled. Take this as an example. Here is EcoFlow Blade's motherboard, and it's built into the same module as a mower deck servo. 99% of manufacturers would likely choose to connect the motherboard with the other modules with the cables and plugs, but we went an extra mile. We're using a pin header to connect this part with the rest of the robot, which not only increases the reliability, but also drives up the assembly efficiency. And we believe reliability is extremely important when this product goes outdoors 24 seven. To keep the design sleek and reliable, we didn't use regular cables to connect the front and the back sides of the product. Instead, we choose to use FBC, a flexible printed circuit that is 0.3 millimeter thin but still very capable of transferring information and energy. The same thing applies to the antennas that we have in front and the back of the product. They are made of a thin film that is covered only by plastic parts, so despite having a strong alloy body, Blade can ensure that the signal is free of interference. Now, let me show you where we test this unit. We complete a whole set of functional tests on a blade in our production workshop, including a 4G radiation test to see whether the blade can receive a satellite signals. And same applies for RTK radiation test to see whether the blade can receive a positioning signal. The visual sensor calibration on a blade is designed to ensure that the blade is able to see the ground and the obstacles in front of it, and to ensure that the module parameters are matching the calibration values. The whole machine test is to determine the signal and emotion, where the signal refers to 4G and RTK, and emotion refers to the spinning wheels and whether the blade is able to lower or lift its mower deck normally. Charge and consumption test to ensure that the blade is capable of consuming energy and charging properly. And finally, the dynamic test to ensure that the front wheels, rear wheels, indicator lights, and a mower deck all function properly. Blade has an average range of 240 minutes, but there are many factors that can affect it, including the terrain of the lawn, the amount of mowing, and the mowing route. It will generally consume more power on uneven surfaces with a lot of hills. Normally, a 600 square meter lawn can be mowed in two hours. If power on a mower falls below 20% during the mowing process, the mower will automatically return to the charging station. The charging station is equipped with a data transmission module, which can send the location information to the mower to achieve a coordinate calibration to help the mower return to the charging station 
accurately. When the charge reaches 50%, the motor will return to where it was previously paused and continue working. Although Blade is waterproof, we do not recommend using it in the rain, mainly to protect your lawn because mowing in the rain is not good for the healthy growth of the grass. There is a simple rain sensor that works as an open circuit when it's dry, but rain droplets serve as an electrical conductor to close that circle. So when it rains, the signal will be sent and the mower will automatically return to the charging station. Blade has a built-in eSIM card and GPS, so if it's lost, users can locate the mower on the map and lock the machine remotely through the app. So this is Blade, fitting perfectly in a modern-day smart home, offering automatic rod plating, virtual boundary navigation, precise mowing, obstacle avoidance, and many more things. But most importantly, it frees up your precious time, so you can enjoy your time with your family, doing hobbies, or just taking a nap. Anyway, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write us a comment. Or if you like this video, please share it with someone who might need an automatic lawnmower. My name is Tim, and I'll see you in the next episode of Meaningful Innovation.